Hello again, new friends to Law Insider. Welcome back to this series of videos on getting started with Law Insider. I'm Mike Whalen. I have mentioned before that we're trying to get through multiple doors to try to get into the room, the pantry that has the can of soup or the piece of information that you're looking for. We've talked already about clauses and contracts. Today, I want to talk to you about the search bar that you can find on the front. This is where the thing gets really powerful. So pay close attention. Let me share my screen with you. If you look at the top of the homepage of Law Insider, you can see that you've got a search bar. And it looks like anything you'd see on Google, but as soon as you click into it, you see all of the categories that we talked about before. If you look at the top, you've got contracts, clauses, dictionary, which we'll talk about, categories, countries, jurisdictions, companies. You can limit in these different ways. And we'll talk about what those limits are, but right now, let's just assume you landed on this thing. It's 2020. You're thinking about force majeure like everybody else is. Uh, let's make sure that we don't spell this <laughs> incorrectly because that'll mess up all kinds of results. If I hit enter on force majeure, I'm going to see all kinds on the right of different clauses that are helpful. It'll also link to contracts when that's appropriate. But because force majeure is a, a clause type, you're going to see that as the principal answer. Now, when you go look at this, you look at these results on the right underneath this search, you can see add filter. OK, the thing to know about this add filter button is it's not going to add an add filter. It's not going to add a filter for force majeure. It's going to add a filter for force majeure. Notice a specific type unless the heading is force majeure. So let's uh, go do that real quick. I'm going to come here and add a filter for force majeure. Now, what you see on the right are all different kinds of results for types of force majeure clauses and you can click into each one of them but what you see here that i really like is this visual connection you see this wide bar here that tells you you're in a particular kind of contract and the sub piece that you're looking at is the clause this will just tell you a hierarchy that you can look through on the left hand side what i want to do uh, real quick is to just show you uh, a particular, let's say an industry. Again, you can narrow by these different categories on the left-hand side. Let's pick pharmaceutical preparations. Now, again, you are narrowing down. You're, you're inside, as soon as you went into search, you were inside the pantry, you're looking for your can of soup now. This kind of hierarchy makes it possible for you to do that. So when I land on this, I can see I've got a pharmaceutical preparations contract, this radiant pharmaceutical subsidiary contract, and within that is a force majeure clause look at this language, uh, you can go through and read that. So another way to get through this, like I said, is that search bar uh, up at the top. If you're feeling like you're not sure where to start, start up there. What we'll talk about in the next video is a way to apply this. We'll walk through a use case so that you can see the way that you might come into different doors and how you might narrow that down. I'll see you in that video.